you know, every now and then, you come across some music that you really were blown away by. And since I've gotten back to recording these videos, um, you guys have done a wonderful job at introducing me to some pretty serious bands. And one of those bands I had done once years ago and completely forgot about them. Um, and not that I didn't like them. Uh, I went back and watched my own video on that. Um, things happened. Uh, um, so I got back to them. And the last video that I did, um, Judgment Day, kind of reminded me that these girls do not play around. So I am back with another highly suggested one, Holy War. And this one is live in Tokyo. I decided to go with this one just because with these girls, live is probably just going to be amazing. So <sighs> I'm just not going to talk anymore because you're not here to hear me talk. You're here to see me watching this video. And as temporary as these videos may be, I mean, I'm going to record this video once. I'm going to put it up on YouTube. A few hundred of you guys are going to watch it, and that's going to be it. But I'm not going to give you a vocal coach analysis. I'm not going to give you a <clears throat> equipment breakdown of the equipment and gear that they use. Um... <clears throat> That's not my style. I enjoy music. I enjoy listening to music. And I've used this analogy before, but to me, it really is like sharing a new song with a friend. You hear this song, you're like, dude, you got to see this. And then one of the best parts about that is seeing how they react to it as well. And, and then we could talk about it a little bit. Talk about what, what we liked about that and maybe what we didn't like about that. <clears throat> But we can share that excitement together and hopefully bring back some of the excitement that you guys have felt when you first heard that particular song or that particular artist. And that's what I'm trying to do with my channel. And I, I think that's just going to be my gimmick it is just no bullshit. Um, I might give you a little bit of an, an analysis, might give you a little bit of something that stands out that they do that really kind of ups the game a little bit for them maybe i might comment on a guitar that they have if it's a really nice one or or what have you but for the most part i'm going to just enjoy hearing new music with a friend so if you guys are down for that i'll go ahead and i'll just quit talking and we'll just go and get this video started it's love bites holy war live in tokyo are you ready because I don't know if I am. If you would have told me that five girls, right? One, two, three, four, five girls wearing, and I'm going to say this from an American perspective, stereotypically cute Japanese outfits. Um, and I say that as American because our stereotypes here of how we view other countries is sometimes stupid. So, in the eyes of Americans, this would be considered stereotypically cute Japanese kawaii girl type shit. So, if you would have told me that 
five girls dressed typically cute would play some of the baddest metal that you've ever heard, I would have told you you would have out of your fucking mind and I probably would have went, hmm. But then I started this channel with the intent of listening to this new music and now I... <laughs> One, I'm surprised. Two, hell yeah. Do that. Dress cute and play metal. Because fuck gender norms, right? Because who says that women can't enjoy metal? Or play it. And who says that they can't be right up at the top with it either? I mean, you could no longer say with some of these bands, especially Love Bites, they're good for a girl band. You cannot say that. You got to put these ladies right up there at the top with the other male bands. You just, you got to because, <laughs> I mean, right away, obviously, they're going to kill it the rest of the six minutes of this song. So... Fucking right. Damn right. Because I can't think of anything else to say. Um, just, just effortless. I mean, it's, it's it's not effortless because these these girls obviously they had to write it. They had to push their own bounds of what their skill level is. They and not only that. These girls obviously can play fast. They can play thrash. They can play speed, prog progressive metal. Um, I had a problem with this with one of the bands that I played with um, before. He thought, our other guitarist thought that he was just absolute God's gift, the best guitarist in the Midwest, and would get mad because we weren't playing fast. We we didn't always allow for these insane guitar solos. One that wasn't the style of music that we were doing. That wasn't, if it wasn't right for the song. But you can have all those skills. But once you start to structure it in song. Nobody's ever really playing to their full potential. However, the ones that can structure that and tone it down just a little bit those are the ones that just make you go fucking wow and these girls are doing absolutely just that and i love it
realize what her voice sounds like, and I am going to get hate for this. <clears throat> nice pause screen, by the way. Her voice, I forget her name, um, and I, I'll, I will learn them eventually. You guys already know I'm bad with names. <sighs> her voice kind of reminds me of, like, what you would hear, like, Let's just say that they could cover an Aretha Franklin song, and her voice would be perfect for that. She's got that that soul kind of voice, that that power. But it it works amazingly for what they do, and I mean, she... uh, and I. I I completely forgot where I was going with that. But you get the idea. She could sing soul music. Like Aretha Franklin, Roberta Flack. Um, the, the, those kinds uh, of songs. Just fine. But And then here she is as a metal singer. It, I love it. That's just what her voice sounds like. Sorry, Tita Turner, but uh, you no longer hold the title of the best legs in the world. I'm sorry. You, you, you just don't. So, Tina Turner, if you would grad gladly and respectfully give up that crown to these gorgeous ladies, I would appreciate that. So, I'm going to take a minute and uh from this video i had recorded this video the night of may 23rd and the morning of may 24th i had found out that one of my favorite artists of all time one of the most influential artists of all time tina turner had passed away <clears throat> now what i said now would look like disrespect and I meant it as no disrespect when I said that Tina Turner can hand over her crown to the most gorgeous legs on the planet. That is a reputation she has carried her whole life and I meant no disrespect. I had not known that if I would have known that within six hours after me recording that video that she would have passed away. I would not have said what I said. So I'm going to interrupt this video and give a tribute to one of the most legendary women in music. One of the most legendary artists in music truly ever, Tina Turner.
Rest in peace. You were simply the best. finger on the pause button because just when I thought that they were getting it they kept going and I respectfully did not want to stop it however can we go back and talk about that solo though amazing um <laughs> I, I didn't I I really just am, am, am speechless right now um and, I kind of wish that I lived in Japan because I would love to see more of not only Love Bites, um, not just Baby Metal, but a few other Japanese bands that I have reacted to. I feel like it would be easier to go see them in concert if I lived there to experience what the metal culture is like in Japan. Obviously here in the States, we know that there is going to be some mosh pits there's gonna be some young punks swinging their arms around trying to punch everybody because they think they're cool whatever i hate that shit so i know what the kind i know what the dynamic is if i go to a metal concert here in the states is going to be i know what the etiquette is i know how to act i know what the rules are the unspoken rules of a mosh pit i know what they are i've been to over 100 of my my concert count is in the triple digits but I would love to experience what that would be like in Japan. Go to Tokyo or, you know, any one of the you know bigger cities that they play in whatever big arena that they play and experience what the metal culture is like there in person instead of watching it on a video and trying to guess based on my little knowledge of it and the stereotypes that I receive of that culture. I would love 
one time just to be able to actually go to Japan and go to a metal show. <sighs> bucket list. Straight up bucket list. Going to Japan is already on my bucket list. This is going to be number two on my bucket list. Anyways, guys, drop your comments below. It is getting late tonight, so I will, I will have this video out by morning. Um, so... Cheers, guys, and until the next one, and drop your comments, any band at all. Um, up on deck, I got Angelina Jordan. She's up on there. Um, I'm going to show you one of my favorite songs um, <clears throat> and share that with you guys. It's kind of a deep cut from a band that I've reacted to just recently. But anyways, <laughs> that's a hint. If you can guess it in the comments, you get like five points or some shit whatever anyways guys cheers and i'll see you in the next one thank you again for stopping by